Prions, mes frères, prions, car nous sommes bien en Irlande. We are in Ireland, at Boardmilstead, Boardmilstead, the stud of the Flood family, who has a, one of the oldest studs in Ireland, and we are not going to see the new recruit. Oui, Boardmilstead, Boardmilstead, le hara de la famille Flood, et nous sommes avec John Flood, John Flood qui descend d'une grande dynastie, pour voir leur nouvel talent, ils ont qualifié Court Kelkenzie, et ils ont... Notre ami Poet's Word que voici. Poet's Word, un fils de Poet's Voice, double gagnant de groupe 1. Il a battu Cracksman dans les Prince of Race Stakes sur 2000 mètres à Royal Ascot. Et il a également battu Crystal Ocean dans les King George. Regardez. Un fils de Poet's Voice. Un magnifique fils de Poet's Voice qui arrive d'Angleterre, qui va commencer... Ici, à Bornmilstead, un grand cheval hein, qui n'est jamais quasiment sorti des trois premiers. Un cheval magnifique. Et nous allons aller dénicher, dénicher John Flood. John, um, tell me more about your new recruit, Poets World. First, uh, can you remind us uh, his fantastic career? Yeah, he was a brilliant racehorse. Um, he raced for Sir Michael Stout. He was a Group One winner, over ten furlongs and twelve furlongs. Um, he won the Prince of Wales Stake in Royal Ascot, where he beat Cracksman, the champion, <coughs> and he also won the King George Stakes at Ascot, where he beat Crystal Ocean. And so uh, he started last year in England. And what what did you like about his profile to? Uh, make him come here in Ireland, is it for a purpose of a flat or jumps or both? Um, well, he's, he's an ideal dual purpose type. Um, we followed him when he was racing. Um, we just liked, he had a great attitude, uh, a real tough racehorse who trained on and improved each year. Uh, he won on all types of going and all types of ground. Um, we had an eye, we were always watching the Dubawi line. We would have liked a horse from the Dubawi line because they're tough and um, they have a bit of speed. They go on all types of ground. Um, so we followed him through his racing career and we thought we might get him after his racing career, but the owner wanted to stand him um, at Shadwell um, for a year. But it is difficult now with the f middle distance horses. They're not overly popular with the f commercial flat breeders. Um, so there was an opportunity to buy him again after his first season. So we, we, we bought him then. So I'm going to translate for our French auditor. So, donc Poet Sword a une grande carrière. Il a battu Cracksman à Royal Ascot. C'est un cheval de longue distance qui a commencé à Shadwell. Il a commencé à Shadwell, mais là-bas en Angleterre, pour le plat, les chevaux de distance intermédiaire ne sont pas autant appréciés qu'avant. Maintenant, c'est vitesse précocité. Il arrive donc à Bournemouth, un rat qui l'a surveillé depuis très longtemps. Un magnifique physique. Il est dépourvu du sang de Sadler's Wells et euh, c'est un cheval de longue distance qui va pouvoir faire du plat, de l'obstacle et on va s'approcher un peu avec John. We are going to come right next to the horse because we've seen Poet's Word but can you talk, uh, can you tell us about the wonderful year of uh, the three other stallions, they all side the group one winners and uh, Calife, who side Kariaku in the French Gold Cup. What does it mean to have a three efficient sires in the same place. Ah, uh, sure, it's it's brilliant. Like it's what you want when you sires have their runners, uh, grade one winners is what you want. So to have all three sires getting grade one winners last spring um, was brilliant. Like uh, as you said, Califé sired the Grand Steep winner in Cariacu. Uh, Kalanisi sired Kalashnikov, who was another grade one chase winner. And Court Cave sired City Island, who won at the Cheltenham Festival, the Grade One novice hurdle. So uh, yeah, it was brilliant to get Grade Ones for them all. Vous l'aurez compris, les trois étalons de Bornmilstead de cette année ont euh, donné naissance à un gagnant de groupe 1, Kalanisi avec Kalashnikov, le festival de Cheltenham avec City Island pour Court Cave et bien sûr Kariakou dans le Grand Stipe de Paris. Une formidable opportunité. Nous, on était ici pour voir notre petit Poet's World qui a battu Cracksman, you beat Cracksman, you're a good boy. On espère que ça va bien se passer pour lui, et on vous dit à tout à l'heure. <musique>